opening remarks and then we'll open it to questions. Coach, it's all yours. Thank you. It's good to be here. Hard to believe it's uh, been seven years representing the University of Kentucky. Uh, but it's an honor and a privilege to be back and uh, look forward to a big season. Right here to your left. Jordan Campbell, Fox Sports Show, is obviously, Coach, a phenomenal season for you and the Wildcats last year. What do you and your staff, your players, have to do to make double-digit win seasons an every-year thing? Uh, continue to concentrate on the things that we did to put ourselves in a position to do that. You know, all the, the practices, the policies, the uh, disciplines that we have to put ourselves in a position to win. And, uh, you know, you really got to focus on the details and the day-to-day -day operation, and the big things will happen. Yes, until you're right against the wall. Hey, Coach. Michael Braden from Saturday Down South. Yeah. I've heard you this offseason kind of question people calling your program, thinking they're going to take a step back. And you noted that, you know, last year we didn't know some of these players, but you got more players that we don't know for the coming season. So could you just give us an idea of some of those players who will be stepping up next year? No, I just simply stated that, that you know, if I was worried about that, then I wasn't worried about it last year. When I stepped in here last year, um, you know, I was one of the few people in here that had a lot of confidence in our football team as well. And so, um, you know, that really can't affect us again. It's what, is, what are we doing day to day to put ourselves in a position to be successful? We shouldn't need any outside motivation uh, for us. You know, we, we uh, care deeply about what we're doing and what, what we're doing put our team in position to be successful. If our players want to use outside motivation such as that, that's fine. But it, it hasn't made a difference the past three years, you know, for us. Um, you know, and what people predicted us and what we thought we were going to do. You know, we've, uh, and that's what we're, we're, we're planning on doing again this year. You know, we're, we're the only team in the country the last six years that's never taken a step back. We've stayed the same or improved each and every year for six straight years, and we're the only people that can say that. And uh, what are we doing now to make sure that doesn't happen this year? Coach, to your left, third row. Mm -hmm. Coach, talk about the addition of John Summerall to your coaching staff, what it's like to have him back at his alma mater and what it's like to be around him so far. Yeah, it's a great addition uh, with John. He, uh, he, he's a dynamic guy. Uh, he's a former Wildcat. Uh, has great, he's a seasoned coach, you know, coming from Old Miss. And, uh, you know, so it's really important. I, I love the energy and the passion that he brings. And, of course, it's great having a former Wildcat. So uh, he's been a great addition. Coach, to your right. John Wilson with KBTX mm -hmm. in College Station, Texas. You've, over the years, talked about it. You just have to have hard work in building a program. All the hard work that you've put in, what did last year mean to you? Well, it meant a great deal. Um, you know, first and foremost for our players that put in a lot of hard work for many years. Uh, our fan base, they deserve that. And, uh, again, we want to continue to improve on that. But, uh, you know, our coaching staff, our players, our fans, you know, we've all been in this together, and we want to continue to grow and con continue to improve. Coach, we'll stay to your right, second row. Coach, what are you hoping to see from Josh Pascal this upcoming season? Yeah, Josh has looked really good. Um, you know, he's, he's really carrying his weight uh, very good. As you know, Josh started as an outside linebacker. He kind of grew into an inside guy and wanted to help our team playing inside. So he, he had some additional weight. And of course, he had the setback uh, with the surgeries on, on his foot. And uh, now he's getting back to full strength. You could tell he's comfortable in his weight. And he's comfortable at his position. Uh, his foot has been very good, and his treatments are going well. Uh, so we have high expectation for Josh. Coach, to your left at the camera bank. Hey, Coach, uh, what has Logan Stenberg meant to, to you and uh, your program? Yeah, Logan is just a terrific young man. He's just a guy that's uh, always ready to work. He's very disciplined. He's a physical guy. He brings an attitude with our offensive line. And uh, an offensive line, they have a tendency to kind of set the tone for your team. And uh, Logan's a big piece of that, a big, strong guy. Uh, but uh, he's a great leader, and uh, he plays with the attitude and the chip on his shoulder that you're looking for. Coach, again to your left of the cameras. Coach, I know you're focused on this year, but a guy who can bring a lot to your program starting the following season, uh, former Troy quarterback Sawyer Smith. What brought about the uh, reason to bring him on, and what can he bring to your program? Yeah, it was important to bring Sawyer. Um, we lost some quarterbacks to transfer uh, when Terry had the great season and won 10 games. And, uh, you know, sometimes that leads to some uh, roster turnover. And uh, so it was important to get some experience. He's a guy that's played in big games. 
Um, you know, he's a very polished thrower, and so we're excited to have him. To your right, Coach, against the wall. Mm -hmm. Coach, during your time in Lexington, obviously you guys have opened a new facility, state of the art, just had a great year last mm -hmm. season. How all these things combined, how has that helped you on the recruiting trail? And are you getting in more and more uh, elite players in that area? It, it definitely helps. Um, you need to keep up. As you know, in the SEC, nobody's interested in going back. Everybody's constantly building and improving their programs. I think also what probably doesn't get talked about as much is in our league, we try to reinvest back in our student athletes as much as we can. So not only the structures, but the people around our players to help them in all areas of their life. Uh, so we're proud of our stadium. We're proud of the facilities we've built. And uh, it has given us an opportunity to improve uh, in recruiting. Um, and also with the, uh, you know, with the win and uh, winning the New Year's Day bowl game and winning 10 victories, uh, that helps as well. To your left, Coach, third row. Coach, can you talk about Cavassier's smoke and your expectations for the young running back and what kind of a role you want him to step into this year? Yeah, Cavassier is a very impressive player. He had the ability to play with the new rule that we had, had the ability to play in some games last year, uh, had some big plays, some big runs, um, but he's a very talented player. I think our, our team's excited to watch him play. You know, our coaches are, uh, but he, he's uh, difficult to tackle. Um, you know, he's getting stronger, uh, you know, very light on his feet. So uh, he's an impressive player. Coach in the back of the camera. Good <laughs> two-part question. Mm -hmm. First, having Landon Young back. And yeah. secondly, having more running backs that can maybe do a little bit of things that maybe Benny couldn't maybe or didn't do as much, catch the ball out of the backfield and so on. Yeah, having Landon back is really important to us. Um, he's a guy that really, you know, he got injured a year ago, which was really uh, – difficult for him, but he used the, the year wisely. He really worked exceptionally hard in the weight room. He's a bigger, stronger player. Uh, he participated in the spring. He looks great. Uh, he doesn't have any effects from the surgery to his knee. Uh, so we're very excited about having Landon back. He's not only a great football player, but he's smart, he's intelligent, he's a leader. Um, so he'll be a great addition to have him back to an already good offensive line. And then with the running backs, it is good. You know, Benny is a hard guy to replace. And I think, um, you know, the, one of the biggest compliments you could give Benny is his determination and his heart and the passion that he had. And we got to make sure some other people uh, offensively can pick that up. As far as the talent at running back, we feel good about those options. Like you say, they're different. All running backs are different. Each player is different. Um, but we do have some guys that uh, have some breakaway speed. A.J. is an impressive back. He's big. He's strong. Uh, he's, he, he can elude tacklers, and he has the, the top-end speed. I just talked about Cavassier, and then we have Chris Rodriguez as well. So we, got some, we have some options there. Straight ahead, Coach. Coach, a couple of your players, uh, Lynn Bowden was just in here as well, and they've been saying that um, you know, no matter what Kentucky does, it almost seems like it's, it's, it's not enough, you know, sort of a – if Kentucky wins the game, it's because the other team gave them the win or lost that, that game. It's mm -hmm. how the Kentucky won it. Would you, would you agree with their sentiment there to a, to a point? It, it, it doesn't affect me. You know, it really doesn't. So, um, you know, each individual is different in how they use things. And, again, let's concentrate on ourselves and what we're doing to help us be successful and improve in areas that need improved, you know, build on the good things that we're doing. And uh, any side piece of motivation that any individual uses, I'm fine with. Any for, uh, anything else, Coach, here front row? Hey, Coach, uh, there was speculation this offseason that Coach Grand, possibly Georgia, wanted to hire him. Uh, how big is it for your offense and specifically Terry Wilson's progression to bring him back for another season? Well, we're, we're excited about the continuity. Our, our staff comes up. In, uh, comes back intact on the offensive side of the ball. We just talked about John Summerall uh, coming in and, and uh, Brad White on defense being elevated to the defensive coordinator. So we have one change and uh, offensively we come back intact. I think that is good. It is important. Uh, you have a quarterback that uh, was in his first year and uh, that experience will really help him. It's really important to have Eddie back. He's a fantastic coach. He's a great leader and uh, he's a great pl play, play caller. Um, you know, we're constantly looking to improve. And uh, we talked about Terry. I think he's, he's set to make a big jump. And good coaches adjust. 
you know, we had a formula last year that gave us the ability to win 10 games and put us in position to win some others. And uh, this year, that may change. You don't know how that's going to look. You have to adapt and change to with each uh, your, uh, team you have. And uh, Coach Graham does a great job with that. Final question, front row to your right. You talked up uh, Logan. Uh, the other guys you brought Lynn and Cash. What went into those decisions? And is there any worry on your part about Cash being maybe a little bit too outspoken? Um, you know, that was Slax's job to give him media to Tony and Tony, you know, Tony and Slax. But uh, no, I just had a couple of brief meetings with them. I told them to be them. You know, we bought, brought them here to be, be who they are, you know, but they also uh, understand where I come from, you know, and the way I talk about preparing in, in um, doing things. But, you know, they're here for a reason for you all in the national media. Uh, to get a look at them individually and see who they are and I'm really okay with that outside of some outlandish things And I don't know you'll have to tell me what they're saying today. I haven't I haven't heard anything yet uh, But cash is who he is. I'm okay with that. Lynn's a very different person and uh, so is Logan uh, But they uh, I'm confident they'll represent us. Well, I have a lot of confidence in them. They're great kids They're good leaders good football players. So uh, it's exciting for them to experience this and be a part of it. Coach Stoops, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it.